My name is Ben Bogeen, Fire Behavior Specialist. I'm going to talk a little bit about what's led up to the conditions we have today in northern BC and why are we seeing these exponential growth on our fires that we typically don't see this time of year. And there's a number of factors that go into this. Uh, what we have above us right now, the overcast sky, a little bit of moisture coming down, that's what we think of when we think of June. That hasn't been the case. So far we've had extended periods of long drying days, making us feel like we're in August or July. We've had hotter days, some of the hottest May days we've had on record. We haven't had the moisture and that's over layered on a very dry winter, which is then even compounded more by the fact that we had extreme drought in the fall. And if we look back in our rolled X to last year about what was going on up here, we had fires burning into October, November with extreme fire behavior which isn't common. We top that with very little snow over the winter, some warm conditions in the spring, and now we have this elevated fire behavior that is, again, just due to how dry everything is, this prolonged drought and its impact on largely our spruce, which is the biggest driver of our fires up here. Uh, as you see behind you, aspen still leafed out, our grass is still green, it still looks like we shouldn't have fire burning, but our spruce is so dry from this drought stress it carries and our pine, the fires are accelerating through it far beyond what's expected for this time of year, let alone July and August.